Hello everyone, this is King Kong IoT Lessons. This is lesson 10, Extended Relay and Indicate Feedback Solution. So this video, I will show you how to make a power distribution box. Uh, this time, we can get the relay state feedback to this switch panel. And we can also use the external relay uh, just like this box. Uh, we can see uh, this is external relay because the power and the load will contribute by this relay and not inside of a box relay. That relay is controlling this relay and uh, max at last this relay controlling the load, power load. And uh, the important is we can use this, you can see this is our switch panel, uh, this we have make the 8 channel. Now I can press every button, you can see the state, this is the relay state, will feedback the LED indicate on the switch panel, like this, like this. Now you can see if I turn on the relay 1, and this is LED indicator for relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, and relay 4. So this is the feedback, the state of the relay. Now I will tell you the solution step by step. We will look at the first, uh, why we need to extend the relay, and the second, how to extend. And the three, uh, the diagram, uh, how to use the one, connect with the relay controller, and the switch terminal board, and this extended relay. So we can see the first point, why extend the relay. Because we can use extended relay, we can extend the controller relay life. What that means? Because now your power load will all country the, the large current uh, goes through the, this relay and not by this one. So this relay inside of country box will go through very small current. The current is very, very, very small. So the large power, the pulse, will impact for this relay. And uh, this device will be, have a big pulse. So the extended relay will extend the controller relay life. And the B is it's easy to replace for repair. Because you have this external relay, if the relay is broken, we can just turn off the box power. And we can easy to, like this, I can remove this relay. You can see this is relay pin and this relay. I just can use a new relay plug in. It's very easy to replace. And uh, now you can see I can rep replace a new relay. It's very easy, just uh, removable. So it's easy for repair. Uh, if the relay is bad or broke, just you can buy yourself to replace one. And the C is country large current load because uh, our relay box inside the relay is used 10 ampere. If you use 16 ampere for air condition or more large than 16, chain, uh, 16 ampere, like 20 ampere or 25 ampere, so you just choose the current value for the relay. You can replace uh, some different value current for different load. Like this, I have installed eight channel. This is for relay is small current and this is SSR and this is the AC conduct. Uh, this is 20 ampere and this is 25 ampere. So you can just extend your power and the current will be easy. I just change the parts. And we can see the two step, uh, how to extend. The mainly device we can extend by these three types of device. One is the AC contact. Uh, AC contact is this one, but this AC contact is different, but different from all the uh, This is DC AC contact. Uh, this is DC 12 volt to control the power on and off. Uh, this is AC contact. And this is the relay. Uh, this relay is commonly used. Uh, just this sixth relay is removable relay. And the second is SSR. This is SSR. This SSR we have used 20 ampere. And this is solid state relay. So mainly we use these types uh, to extend 
the large power. But what is the different? Uh, according to the sound, the AC contact is the large sound. The level is max. The noise is big. And this is second is the relay. And the SSR, almost no sound. So this is a different sound level for the three parts. Uh, you can hear. I can use my map microphone nearby the box. Uh, you can see. I can turn on this channel. You can see this green LED. The sound is from the relay. And this one. And now this one. This is SSR. This time the sound only from this relay controller inside of relay sound. This is no sound. And the last is AC contact. So the, this is a max sound. We can like this relay, SSR, and AC contact. So this is three types of the device, the sound. I suggest you, if you install this power distribution box nearby your room, uh, most uh, the important is nearby the bedroom. You can choose the SSR or choose the relay, not use the AC contact because the sound is large and the noise is very uh, large. So you can, according to your needs, and choose the device to extend your power load. But the AC contact is for large power, is safety. This is the most safety. And this is the second. And this is the third. Because these two types, AC contact and relay, is physical, is controlled by the physical. And this SR is just according to, uh, to the electronic device inside of the parts. So uh, the, for the safety, in fact, uh, this two one. This two device is best. Okay, this is uh, how to extend. And now we can see the diagram. The diagram, uh, we can see uh, this stematic. And this is case 868 relay controller. And I use this is eight channel. You can use any channel of the relay controller. And this is switch terminal board. Uh, this is board, just this one, this green one. And this use RS232 cable, serial cable, just this one have connect together. So this just connect directly and with, work without internet or no network is no problem. And this have a switch panel, a K1, K2, K3, K4. This is four channel panel. And also you can use two channel or four channel or six channel all can be used, I just uh, for example, I take an example for the four channel. So like this one, and uh, this is uh, R1, R2, R3, R4. This is the middle relay of this external relay. And this R1, R2, R3, R4 is relay inside of the controller. So we can take an example, just uh, we can let the COM, this is COM, and this is normal open. So we can let every relay output connect together. They are count point connect together with ground. And like the R1, relay 1, and will connect with this external relay. And the external relay, the coin, this is a coin. This is connected with the DC 12 watt because this relay work, work by 12 watt. So we can connect all this coin together. And when this R1 is turned on, turn on relay R1, relay 1. So we can see this, is, this can be closed. And uh, the current will go through this R1, and go through, go through, and back to the ground. So this R1 will be worked. So this is turn on the lamp or turn on your device. And when the R1 is turned on, and you can see this is become, because this is connected 
So this is become ground. Uh, this is zero volt. So this is back to this line. Uh, this switch panel, this K1 to K3 and K1 is work for switch terminal board. So this is for dry contact to turn on and turn off this relay. And this is the feedback of the state. Because uh, this is K1, K2, K3, K4, so it also have include D1, D2, D3, D4. This is LD indicator, a uh, full LD indicator. Uh, the LD indicator uh, is connect the positive, and this is negative. The positive also is connect the DC 12 volt. And this is DCOM. So the common line is connect with 12 volt. And when it have 12 volt, the current will go through the LD and out and uh, go through this line and uh, to this point. So if closed, if this R1 closed, uh, this is ground, th this is 0 volt. So this is 12 volt, and this is 0 volt. So the LD will be on, uh, you will see the LD, this LD will be on. And if this R1 is turned off, if turned off, so this point, this point is 12 volt because this is a coin. So this is not connected. So this 12 volt is go through at this point. So also this 12 volt is on this point. So this is 12 volt and this is 12 volt. So this LD will not be on. LD will be off. So this is the feedback principle of the of the LD, I just get the volt feedback to the LD indicate for D1, D2, D3, D4. When D1 is zero, uh, the LD is on. When D1 is 12 volt, the LD is off. So every channel is seen, just uh, R1, R2, R3, R4. If you have many channels, like 16 channel or 32 channel, or like uh, this uh, 30 magic, just uh, do it. So this is how to continue the lay on and off and get the LD indicate feedback, the diagram. And every external relay will have calm and normal open and normal close. So just like this, uh, we can connect with the power, maybe AC 20, uh, 220 watt and 101, 10 volt and just, just go through the comb and the normal op and go to the lamp or go to the load and back to the power supply. Uh, this is for the external relay connected with your load. Uh, this is diagram. So this is how to use the external relay and how to indicate the feedback for your solution. Uh, maybe you can make some project and use this way and use external relay, and now we can use your LD indicate uh, for the switch panel for the feedback. Okay, thanks for watching.